Yes. Hi, I'm Brando De Sica. I am a young director with a big passion for cinema. I come from a family of directors and actors. My father was Vittorio, my father is Christian, and now there is the third generation. And I hope to be as good as they were. They were. How did you start? Or what was your first film? Uh, it, all start or what? <laughs> it all started when uh, I was uh, a kid and my uncle and my father were uh, showing me the movies from the Hammer Horror Production and Roger Corman. <laughs> so I, I grew up with Vincent Price, Peter Cushing, Christopher <laughs> Lee. Those were my heroes and cartoons. And, um, and then uh, after my high school and uh, some work as an actor, I followed my real passion that was directing. And I, I, I went to Los Angeles and I graduated uh, at USC, the University of uh, uh, Cinema and Television. And uh, now I'm uh, uh, starting to work as an assistant director for uh, Pupi Avati and Matteo Garrone and uh, I'm starting to do my first project, uh, commercials, music video and shorts. And um, um, these summers I, I will write my first movie, which it will be a horror movie. Great. Because it's my passion. <laughs> Is it going to be a feature film? It's going to be a feature film, correct. Wow. So the film that we're going to see today is... Yeah, today I am, I'm very glad to present you the three um, uh, spots I did for Anthony Morato and uh, we shoot it in London, in Barcelona and in Naples and uh, I'm uh, very happy, Anthony Morato and all the crew and uh, the Golab, the production, uh, they all were fantastic and uh, we had a lot of fun and uh, it's something new for me, I, it's my first uh, fashion film and uh, now I'm shooting my second one with uh, Catherine L. Marlon, this beautiful stunning model but also a great actress and she has done this, um, uh, this bag, uh, handmade, made in Italy and uh, she called me to do a, a short movie for her fashion film, a dark horror short movie, so again... <laughs> Great, are you going to submit it for as well? Of course, I will be glad to show you. I will great. show you before everybody else. So. Okay, great. Because <laughs> deadline's August 31st. Yeah, definitely. We will be ready for that. That's great. So, um, do you, you're working on a feature film. What's that subject? It's a horror film. It's a horror film, but I, I will prefer not to tell you now okay. the, 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 the story because it's something that is a working in progress. Okay. And, uh, but yeah, it. it will be a horror thriller. I will, I will say more as a suspense thriller, kind of. Uh, I love Roman Polanski, I love uh, The Tenant, Rosemary Baby. Mm, so good. that kind of atmosphere. Oh, great. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm totally in love with Polanski and Alfred Hitchcock. So that kind of... Wow. I, ho I hope... They're two of my icons. I'm aim to the biggest. So <laughs> I, uh, That's great. And shoot it in Italy or in yes. what language? It in will Italy? be in Italy. Okay, subtitle English. Yes, yes. So the pre-production started or you've written the script? I How will, far are you in the process? I'm, I'm just starting to write the script. I'm, I'm writing okay. right now. So and it's going to be a couple of years, probably. No, 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 no. I, it will take, yes, I think for the release, of yeah. course, a couple of years. Yes, yes. Great. But I hope uh, this Christmas I will have my script done. That's great. And what was the first film that you saw that really The first you? film I saw was The Night of the Living Dead by <laughs> Giorgio Romero. <laughs> and and how old were uh, you? I was so scared because uh, I... I, I was at five years old, six years old. My, yeah. my, my father showed me this movie. <laughs> my mother was so upset. But uh, he did good because he, he, he gave me that passion that moves me now to do this work. So I'm, I'm glad that he did. Not at the time, but now yeah. I can tell you, yes. I'm because glad. did you have problems sleeping at night after? Well, at five years old, the night of the living dead is not so easy. No. The second one was The Exorcist. So ah, even, even worse. With the head swirling yes. around in the green pieces. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 
And was there like a particular image in Night of the Living Dead that kept replaying for you? Yeah, the, when, they, when they are in the house and they're watching out of the window and you see in this, uh, in this moonlight uh, the, the dead coming towards the, the camera with these uh, silver, flace, silver, silver faces <laughs> with that black and white that was a rough black and white uh, that kind of that kind of style really strike my, my mind, but especially Vincent Price and, uh, and uh, Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing. Those horror movies from the Hammer and the Roger Corman um, era, they were not uh, just horror movies, they were like bizarre melodramas, uh, psychedelic and, uh, and a lot of fun, even comic, even. I like that, it's true, it's, it's great to have the mix of horror with a little comedy. Yes, definitely. It's definitely. really an important element. Definitely. And are you thinking about like how you want them to look? So, sorry? Are you thinking about like the costume or in your mind yes. if you're writing? Yes, definitely, definitely. When, when I'm writing the script, uh, I even think about the music. I was the just light. gonna ask you that. Yeah, about definitely. The music. music, costume, uh, production design. Uh, it helps me to shape uh, the movie to shape my idea and to be more precise. I try to work as much as I can on pre-production mm -hmm. so I can be as much free as I want on the set. Which is great. And for the casting, you have someone in mind, a dream cast? Yeah, a dream cast. On this movie, there are a lot of uh, characters and um, there are some, there are Italians, but also English characters, mm -hmm. because a part will be shot in uh, England, and um, I have some idea in my mind, but it's so soon. Right. <laughs> to tell sometimes, you. sometimes it's well, you can keep it as a, under the veil, yeah. but sometimes it's good if, when you have that character as your writing. Of course, it. yes, definitely, it's definitely. Kind of. I, I, while I will develop the character, I'm sure I'm going to ask uh, to the person I have in mind, but right now it's too soon, it's too soon. I, j I, just, I just began a couple of days ago, so... That's great. So Thank I'm you. looking forward to it. Oh, I'll, I'll be glad to show you. Thank you. Thank you very much.